Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Alright, I'm in Inkscape, and this is going to be a short, little, brief, little tutorial on how you can create a simple flower or, you know, scalloped circle uh, using. Uh, the dynamic offset and using the polygon tool right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Um, and then I'm going to you want to make sure that the star is selected and then corners. Uh, I just chose 12. You can choose however many you wish. Uh, just, that's just how many petals you're going to see in the flower. And uh, I just have that set for 0.5, 0, 0. So all right, so let's go ahead and draw the star. So I'm, I'm just going to click and hold. Uh, and hold that click down and drag it out. It doesn't matter the size because we can always resize things in scale. So uh, I'm just clicked and released. Then I'm going to go to path. I'm going to go all the way down here to dynamic offset. And as you see that uh, that puts like a little uh, little node up here. And as you can see I'm going to click and I'm just going to drag this around. And you can see that you can create unique uh, unique flowers from from using this. I can either uh, you know go skinny, you know, or I can go all the way out there, make it like make it look nice. So all right, uh, I'm just let go, I'll let go of the click, and uh, that came out pretty well. Now we're gonna go to uh, path, then we're gonna go to object to path, and then you know you can give it a you know the nice center part if you wish. You know, just I'm gonna click and hold the control button down. You know, give it a yellow. You know, drag it over here. Make make sure it looks looks pretty good. All right, looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and go to path, object to path, and then I'm just gonna save it. All right, so once you once you save that as an SVG and everything's all pathed out, you can go ahead and go into scale shortcuts a lot, and you can go ahead and import it. I'm gonna go to file. I'm going to go to import SVG and then I'm going to find my file flower right here and there it is opened up right in the scale make it big and there you go that's how uh, that's how simple that could be with using the dynamic offset in Inkscape so with that I'm Rob with scrappy